Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn annotations and tags in Playwright. This is going to be very easy and very interesting, and I will go very basic step by step. So we are going to see what are tags and annotations in Playwright. How do we use the annotations and tags? And we will see a step by step hands on demo. Now, in the last session, we have already seen the uh, hooks and groups. How do we use different hooks in Playwright? in the tests and how can we group our test cases and today we will see annotations we have different annotations like only skip fix me slow etc and then we can also tag our test cases with tags like at regression at smoke at sanity at fast at slow etc and then we can run the tests with specific tags or we can also have an option where we can skip the tests having a certain tag we will see this in a moment so let's get started and see some annotations and before that i will uh, go to my project i will open my vs code and this is my project and i will first uh, create a new file uh, now some of you have given me a feedback in the comment section to use the dark theme in visual studio code so today i will try the dark theme and you can let me know if that is fine i will continue with that so to do that i can go to settings or i will just go to command palette i am pressing control shift and p key on my keyboard to bring up the command palette and this is control shift p and then i will say color theme uh yeah i have got this here and i will use the dark theme here uh so i think this is fine okay now i will go to the tests folder here this is my tests folder and then i will create a new file i will name it as annotations and tags.spec.js okay so i have created this file annotations and tags.spec.js and here i will start typing so i will first import i will import uh, test and expect or i i will just need test here and i will import from playwright if you want you can also right click and say format documentation and now i will start creating some tests so i will say test and i will give some name test one and then i can give the async function here and this is my test now uh, let us see the annotations one by one so the first one is skip i can say test dot skip and this will skip the test so let us say i will also just pass the page fixture if i have to use it i will say test dot skip you can see it is also giving me this auto suggestion and this should when i run this uh, test file this particular test should be skipped so here I can run the test. I will first open the terminal. I will go to terminal and new terminal. And now here, I will say, I will have to say here, npx playwright test. Make sure that you save your test. And now I will say tests folder, press tab key to auto complete, and then go to the file annotations and tags i will press tab to auto complete all this and then i just want to run on a single browser so i will say hyphen hyphen project chromium so this is my command and let us now run and check uh, some issue let me very quickly see what is the issue here okay uh let me see this okay i believe uh i used this there was a typo in this word chromium i will run this again so i am pressing the up arrow on my keyboard this is chromium and now let us check 
and yes you can see it says one skipped if i see the report in the report as well you will see that the test is skipped so i will say npx playwright show report and here you can see this is skipped so this test is skipped so this is how we can use this annotation then we can also use the fail annotation and this will mark the test as failure and in case the test passes it will show some error so uh, let me show you and i also have some of these uh, tests already written so that i can save some time i'm just going to save this all these tests will be there in the description of this video so in case you want you can copy it from the description or you will also get all this uh, in the official documentation of playwright so let me run this test i am saying test and here inside the test i am saying test dot fail so if i now run this i will go to terminal first i will stop this uh, report by pressing control c and y and clear the console clear the terminal and i will use the top arrow to go to the last command and yes i will run it again and let us see this time this time this is running two tests and you can see here it is showing one as skipped and one as failed so if i go to the failed one this one is marked as failed and the earlier test is marked as skipped so this is how we can also mark the test as failure then if you have some test which you do not want to run and you want to mark it as or uh, uh, you want to mark it for fixing you can use the fix me annotation so here you can use this let me again copy this test from here and add it to my script so you can see this will be about it and if i now save and run my command and let us see the report this time you can see here it is aborted or skipped so this one is now marked for fixing so this is how we can mark a test for fixing as well then i can use the annotation slow this uh, marks that this particular test is slow therefore it will triple the timeout so whatever timeout you have set in the configuration uh, file it will triple that time because this test runs slow so here i will copy this and paste so this particular test will be will have the timeout with triple the count whatever you have given in the configuration file now i am not using any uh, uh, example of a browser but if you want you can run it and check you will have the triple timeout so wherever you have any test which is slow you can use this annotation then the next we have only and this will run a particular test whenever you want to run some specific test or some specific uh, tests inside the file you can mark it by dot only annotation so for example if i say dot only here it will run only this particular test from this file and we can mark multiple tests with this annotation only so let me run and check let us see this time you can see it has executed only one test and this test has passed if i check the report you will see the report that only this particular test which is slow test is executed here okay i will stop the report here and clear the terminal then there is also a annotation to skip conditionally sometimes you want to skip a particular test but based on some condition this you can also try and in fact if you go to uh playwright annotations it will take you to the official documentation of playwright and the annotations page annotations documentation and here you can see all these annotations so you can see uh, skip with condition will be here conditionally skip a test so you can see this test so here it is saying test dot skip 
if browser name equals Firefox. So in case the browser is set to Firefox, this will be skipped because maybe this particular test is not working on Firefox or whatever condition you want to use, you can use it like this. So we have, we can use all these annotations. And uh, if you want, you can take a screenshot of this screen and keep it handy with you so that you can go through it multiple times and then you will always remember all these annotations. Now coming to tags. So here we can tag our test cases with tags like at smoke, at sanity, at regression, at slow, at fast, et cetera, whatever tags we want to use. And then we can make the tests with specific tests run only when we run the test file. So for that, we, uh, we can do something like this. I will use this particular test. So let me show you in the test script. I will say these are tags and you can see this test. We give the tag, we give the tag within the title of the test. So basically that also means that it is not necessary that you use uh, some symbol like at or anything. Uh, you can give anything and then while running the command, we will use the grep keyword to give these tags. And whenever any test that matches that title or any test that has that word in the title of the test that will get executed. But just to keep it more meaningful, meaningful we use these at the rate symbol and then we can say at fast at slow at smoke at sanity so let us say i will say this is at smoke and then to run it we will say the normal command and then we will add this option hyphen hyphen grab and then give the tag here so i will save this and then i will go to my command so this was our earlier command here i will add hyphen hyphen grab so this is hyphen hyphen. Let me uh, expand this and show you. So this is hyphen hyphen grep. And then I will, within quotes, I will say at the rate smoke and save. And I will run this. And you can see, uh, let me check again. It says no tests found. I will save this again. Okay, I will have to remove this only because it is only running this test and here it did not find the tag at smoke. So I will now remove the only tests or the tag uh, tests tag tagged with only keyword. And now I will run my command again and let us see this time. And you can see it is running only one test because only one test was found having this tag at smoke. And if I check the report, you will see this. Only this test is getting executed. That is test login page at the rate smoke is executed here. And then I will stop the report, control C and Y and clear the terminal. Then sometimes you may also want to uh, skip the tests having a certain tag in that case you can use hyphen have hyphen grab invert in the uh, command. So here we used grab. If you say grab invert and then whatever tag you give, all the tests having this tag will be skipped. So this also will be very useful and very handy. So we have learned about annotations and we can now understand annotations are keywords that contain some logical or conditional functionalities and you can use it within test blocks to control execution of the tests as you require. And we can apply annotations to single tests or also to a set of tests and also in a group. I hope this was useful. If you have any questions, you can let me know in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Thank you for watching and never stop learning.